So this is my flute patch that I'm using here uh, in afternoon of a fun. But I'm using them as uh, two oscillators and essentially using the uh, expander over here so that I can get a delayed vibrato. So as you can hear, you get some delay. And I'm using the same frequency for the uh, frequency modulation of one oscillator. So it thickens it as it starts to, to vibrate. And then I'm, I'm taking just a little bit of LFO modulation to get that sound that you get when a flute is uh, being modulated. I like that a lot. So yes, yeah, so I use the uh, ADSR over here to control the VCA. I take one of the LFOs through the VCA and then over here to the law, or to, excuse me, to the linear. Um, modulation input on one of these oscillators and I go through an attenuator because you only need a little hair of it uh, then for the main voice is coming through the the ultimate and essentially I'm using a little bit of envelope control for the uh, voltage controlled amplifier and some for the voltage controlled low pass filter I think that's got a real nice uh, sound to it and it really came out well in this particular song Oh, well, one other little secret to the flute patch is I also am actually modulating uh, one of the oscillators with noise, just a touch of it, so you get that, that feeling or that sound of the breath coming through the flute uh, as that, that white noise is actually modulating the tone of the flute. So time for more patch cards. Good morning. The sun hasn't come up yet. After I had gotten the whole preload to the afternoon of the fawn done, I didn't like how some of the tracks uh, came out, so I re-recorded them all. And, and um, so now I'm exporting audio. And time-consuming process, but it's a lot of fun. Then what I'll do is I'll take these tracks and put them back in with the other uh, 30 tracks. And uh, it's going to be pretty cool this time. Never enough patch cards. Well, I'm exporting the final mix, uh, 34 tracks, and uh, a lot of synthesizer voices in there. And uh, came out pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. Hope, hope you like it. So, time for more patch cards. By the time we were done with afternoon and fun here, uh, we were up to 34 tracks. And I'm trying to get a final mix down here. So this is the Birds and Stream patch. It's a lot more complicated than you think it would be. Uh, but, you know, when you think of a stream, you have water running over rocks, and it's, uh, you know, it's falling from, from kind of its flowing state into splashing into uh, another piece of the water as it's going on down. And uh, what you get there is you, you get different frequencies of kind of zipping sounds. And so the way I did that was you have a random uh, sound, you know, white noise going into the sample hall, and the voltage is coming out of there and controlling oscillators with it. And the gates are driving the ADSRs so that you just get a pop sound. And to fool your ears, uh, you know, typically three things will fool your ears. Once you start to hear three different things doing the same thing, it's hard to tell how many there really are. So I actually went to four. So you have four of the kind of popping sounds happening at different frequencies and so forth. And then you have uh, white noise that's going through some filtering. And uh, modulating that just a little bit itself with uh, kind of a randomly changing voltage. 
And uh, then on top of that, you have the bird sounds, which essentially, uh, I have uh, another one of my random gate generators driving the clock on the uh, sequencer. And it is set for random. And so every time it gets gated, it's just making that little tweet. And uh, I have the stereo panner uh, pushing that back and forth to the separate speakers so that sometimes you'll hear it over here, sometimes you'll hear it over here. And uh, then I have some, uh, you know, I'm modulating the, the VCO that I'm using for the tweet sound with an ADSR. Uh, the other ADSRs go off to the VCA for that uh, tweet sound. Then I'm also putting a little bit of uh, uh, triangular wave modulation on it so that you get some randomness to it as well. So it's a, it's an elaborate patch just to make the stream and the bird sound. It's uh, more than you think. Never enough patch cords. Of course you're not done until you do the CD cover and so forth, so I'm just uh, using an art program to come up with that. And uh, yeah, this is one of those things where you're just you know, trying to do the first one and, and just get it uh, finished so that you know a little bit more of how to make the next one and so forth. So uh, it's uh, it's been a fun process. It's been a real fun process. So here's looking at you. <laughs>